Hello, hello! Today I have a new video in this little mini series where I share how to do hairstyles inspired by anime characters. And today this video is going to focus on hairstyles that you can do super quickly and easily in five minutes or less. And these are meant to be casual daily hairstyles that you can wear every single day, but there's like a little bit of like geeky inspiration behind it. As usual, all of the characters that I'm covering in these videos are straight from your requests on my Instagram stories. And I am finally covering some of the most most highly requested characters, so I hope you guys are excited. Before we get started, I am once again so honored to be partnering with one of my favorite jewelry brands. Ana Luisa is a jewelry brand based in New York, offering everyday luxury. They have amazing high quality jewelry, but they're also very transparent with their pricing and they're also very affordable. They have an entire 365 day warranty and they also are 100% carbon neutral. And their limited batches ensures they have the highest production while also eliminating excessive waste. My collection of pieces from Ana Luisa is slowly growing and I'm really happy that I can just mix and match a bunch of different designs from them and they all work together flawlessly. So on my ears, I'm wearing the Elise and also the Suzanne Huggy Hoop earrings. And for my necklaces, I'm wearing the Daisy and the Joy necklaces stacked on top of each other. And I especially love that their necklaces have an extender chain on the back so that I'm able to like stack stack them at different lengths. So if you're interested in checking out Ana Luisa, you can check out the code in the description box below. And you can also get 20% off with the summer sale that they're currently having. So the first few characters that I'm going to cover in this video are all going to be from Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba. And this has been extremely highly requested. And the first character that I'm going to cover is Nezuko, which is, you know, everyone's favorite cutie. Her hairstyle is incredibly simple, but it has a very iconic silhouette. So I think that if you wore this outside, maybe people can kind of pick up where you're referencing this hairstyle from. So first off, she has a pretty strong side part. So I'm just taking a rat tail comb and I'm bringing my hair over to hide my blunt bangs. And then if you look at her hairstyle, she has like long wavy curls with an ombre into like a reddish orange color because she's like, you know, kind of a demon. And so to achieve that, if you have any sort of different colored hair extension, that would work perfectly for this. And these extensions can also be extremely affordable. So you don't have to buy something super expensive. You can add as many extensions as you want to get that pop of color to replicate the look that she has. And then with my bangs, I'm simply twisting it away from my face and then taking an accessory with a bow on it, I'm clipping my hair in place. And that's it for this hairstyle. Again, super simple and amazing daily hairstyle, but looks pretty stunning, especially when you add in some colored and curled extensions. For her hair clip, anything that has a bow on it, you can even use like a piece of ribbon that would work perfectly, but I felt like this one was a really cute take on her more simple bow. The next couple of characters that I'm going to cover are going to be the butterfly girls from Demon Slayer. The first one is going to be Shinobu Kocho. And this was a really fun hairstyle for me to interpret into a hairstyle that you can do in real life. So this one is really, really, really easy. I'm just gathering all of my hair into a mid-height ponytail and then I'm twisting it all into one direction and twisting it until it wants to start to collapse onto itself. If you follow the way that the hair wants to collapse, it will naturally sort of fall into a bun. So after wrapping the hair around itself into the shape of a bun, I'm just taking a hair tie and I'm keeping this in place. And then to replicate the silhouette of the butterfly that she has, I just so happened to have this really oversized fabric bow hair clip. And I'm going to clip this right above my bun and then use the excess fabric to hide the bun as much as possible. And from the front and also the side, you can see how this really helps replicate the silhouette that she has. I think if you don't have anything that is shaped like a butterfly. Going for the shape of a bow is always like a great alternative because it has sort of the same silhouette and this actually ended up being my favorite hairstyle in this entire video just because it looks so elegant and so effortless and the bow definitely gives it a very interesting shape. The next butterfly girl that we're going to do is Kano Tsuyuri and this one is also again really simple but it has a very obvious silhouette so if there's any demon slayer fans out there if you wear this hairstyle out in public I'm sure that they're going to get the reference. So after leaving out the front pieces that are framing my face, I'm just gathering all of my hair into a high side ponytail and I'm tying this off with an elastic. Then taking a butterfly hair claw, I'm just clipping this on top of the elastic to cover it. And honestly, that's it. If you have a butterfly hair claw, that's really all that you need to accomplish this hairstyle because again, it's all about finding that iconic silhouette. For the last of the butterfly girls, I'm going to be doing my interpretation of Kane Kocho's hair. And this one is super easy. Again, it's all about accessories and a silhouette. I'm simply 
basically just separating about a one inch section of hair framing my face and then taking some butterfly hair clips I'm clipping this right at the top to sort of keep that hair separated and in place and really that's it for this hairstyle again it's about creating an iconic silhouette from a series that you know and recognize and love and I really love these bows because they're glued onto a clip so that they're standing up and this shape really reminds me of a butterfly so finally moving away from Demon Slayer I got the request to cover Kana Kamui from Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid and honestly I was pretty blown away when I saw this character for the first time she is so ridiculously cute and I feel like we kind of have a similar hair color so I was like okay hey, definitely inspired to recreate this. So she has a pretty intense hairstyle, but there is definitely a super easy way to translate this into real life. So first off, I'm separating my hair straight down the back and I'm loosening up the hair a little bit so my pigtails aren't flat against my head. Then I'm going to be doing some bubble braids. So I'm going to be creating three bubble braids to mimic the three beads that she has on each pigtail. So taking an elastic, I'm tying this every two inches down the previous elastic and then I'm tugging and pulling the hair a little bit to give it a round bubble shape. And I'm going to repeat this three times on each side so that I have three beads in total. She has a little black bow headband on the top, which is super cute. And I'm just replicating that with this really cute pink bow mesh headband. And that's it for this hairstyle. I think this one is super charming and cute. And I think I definitely need to watch this series because she's just so cute. The last hairstyle that I was requested to cover is Kyoko Kirigiri from Danganonpa. And oh my God, this was such a blast from the past. I remember when Dingle Rumple was like the most popular thing on Tumblr. And I definitely thought how this would make an incredibly cute daily hairstyle. So I'm taking an inconspicuous piece of hair right behind my ear and taking about two inches, I'm going to start braiding this into a regular three strand braid. And then I'm just going to tie this off with an elastic. Then right at the top of the braid behind my ear, I'm taking any sort of bow like accessory and I'm clipping this hair right in place. I took the opportunity to use something incredibly cute. I really love this little bow hair clip because it has like a string of pearls and it just looks so delicate and gorgeous. And that's it for this hairstyle. So thank you so much for watching this video and as always thank you so 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 much for sending in your requests so that I know what you guys would love to see in these anime inspired hairstyle videos. Also don't forget to check out Ana Luisa the lovely sponsor of this video. Again you can check out the link in my description box below because they're having a huge 20% off for their summer sale. And also as always thank you so much to my lovely wonderful patrons from Patreon. Thank you so much to CKL, Jay, Chelsea, Selena, Gabrielle, Kina Cordone, Tiffany, Sweet Moon Bubble, Georgia, Question Mark, Gregorio, Kylan, Yostelin, Emma, Alana, Kay, Kathy, Celine, Elena, Karen, Angie, Luna, Abina, Cecile, Mady, Zoe, Maya, and Porgy. You guys are amazing. I love you all, and I will see you guys again next week.